Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. In this video, I'm looking at a free plugin called Each Domain a Page. If you're like me, you have a number of domains where you have sites installed, but you also own some domain names that you got maybe because they were similar to your domains or because you have a future project that you're thinking of developing or maybe you change the domain on one of your sites, or maybe you're just not using the domain anymore, but you don't want to let it go. For whatever reason, one of the things to figure out is, is there something that you can do with those domains that aren't being used? And that's what we're going to look at in this video. This video is sponsored by Breakdance, the modern visual website builder for WordPress. It's easy for beginners to learn and powerful enough for the most advanced professionals. Breakdance is loaded with features, including a premium template library, a robust form builder, AI content writing capabilities, a versatile pop-up builder, and seamless WooCommerce integration. Whether you're just starting your WordPress journey or you're a seasoned pro looking for a better builder for your agency, now is the perfect time to build better websites with Breakdance. Try it today and experience the Breakdance difference. This is the plugin in the WordPress plugin directory for each domain a page by Jory Van Veen. There are several plugins in this category, but I chose this one for a few reasons. One is some of the others have not been kept up to date. Two, although it only has 100 active installs, it's got a good rating and support has been active. And it seemed pretty straightforward to install and set it up. There are instructions here for how to do it. And so what this plugin does, it allows you to direct one domain to another. So in this case, I have davidmccann.com and I also own mccann.net and mccann.net is not being used. So I'm going to direct that to davidmccann.com. You install the plugin and you create a page for the domain, mccann-net. Then you go into your domain name manager and you point the extra domain to the active domain. And you go into your website hosting and you make an alias for the extra domain. And then when you do that, the extra domain shows up as a page. It has its own page in the active domain. Sounds kind of complicated, but let's walk through it. Here's my domain manager on name silo. I'm just blurring out the domain names, but on the right here, you see these that it looks like it has a bus or something. Those are park domains. And basically, when you go to one, what happens is that you just see an ad for the domain name seller. So, you know, like if you went to this domain, you would see an ad for name silo. And they might say, do you want to buy this domain? And they might try to take bids for it or something. But for the most part, you're really not getting any juice out of it. So this is the one for McCann.net. You notice it's not parked right now. That's because it takes sometimes several hours after you change the DNS records for them to propagate around the world. And so I went ahead and did that so when we make the video, we don't have to wait for that to happen. Here we are, and you see that this domain, mccann.net, is pointed to the same IP address as davidmccann.com. All right. Okay, so I'm using the xCloud server management panel for managing this domain, and I've got it running on a VPS. If we go down to the domain settings, here we have primary domain, 
and additional domains. Okay, so I'm going to add another uh, additional domain and that will be for mccann.net. Okay. And I think I would add one for www.mccann.net also. Since I noticed I had that set up in the DNS manager, but for now I'm just going to go with mccann.net. I might remove it from the DNS after we're done with this. So now then we go to the davidmccann.com website. This I just kind of set up as a simple link tree type thing or something where it just has some links to me on social media. And I've been using this site just for experimentation and whatnot. Okay, so let's just go to the plugins now and let's add this plugin. Each domain a page. We'll install it and we'll activate it. Okay, and now if we want to go to the settings, we click here. These are some options that you can configure. Use domains as a canonical URL. Canonicals must include www. All domains have an SSL certificate installed. We should do that, I think. Use only post title as document title and force redirect uh, canonical domains always and locales. I'm just gonna check that one setting. Okay, so now what we would do is we would go to pages and we'd add a page and the page title would be McCann-Net. So use a dash instead of the period. And just for trying this out, let's say welcome and publish this. Now let's go to a page and we will go McCann.net. Let's see what happens. Ooh, pretty awesome, huh? Let's customize this just a little bit so you can see kind of get an idea of what we can do. I'm using the free green shift theme, which is a block based theme. And let's go to add a new template. And here's our page. Uh, it's giving us a pattern here. So let's take this pattern. We wanted to get rid of the header or we could make a McCann.net header if you wanted to, you know, like have a, an icon up here or whatever. But let's go ahead and remove that. Okay, and then in this group, let's add after the title, let's put the featured image in. Okay, and then we'll remove the title. Okay, and we'll just put like the page title into the content area. Let's save that. Let's go back to our page now and customize it a little bit. All right, so this is not gonna show well, we'll add here is a title, advanced heading, yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay, and we'll just say, welcome to McGann.net. This is the future home of the McCann family. Let's add a featured image. I uploaded one here. All right, so we'll have a featured image and let's save that. 
Let's go back to our page and refresh. There we have our kind of custom page. Now there's one more thing we can do here. Another feature of this plugin is we can add a page, call it contact, and you know, put a contact form here. So we can have whatever page we want, but my point here is that if we go to parent and choose McCann.net and publish, then go back to our McCann.net page. Let's add a button. Contact us. Okay, and for the link, we'll put the link in as contact and save. Let's go back now and view this page and click contact. And here is our put contact form here. And obviously, you know, we could make a template for this and remove the header or customize the header how we wanted. Okay, so anyway, this is a cool feature that allows us to have a domain page underneath the active domain. And like I said, it shows in the address bar as McCann.net. All right, so that's a look at this free plugin, every domain a page. Pretty easy to set up. It's a little, a little bit techy because you have to go into your DNS and you have to go to your hosting. But other than that, I think it's pretty straightforward and something I'll be using for some of those domains that are parked. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot. Thank you for watching.